Hi everyone, this is Gregor for Personas, and today I want to talk to you about pattern mode, which you're probably familiar with in Studio One, but particularly how you can use it to build some incredible drum fills with probability, polyrhythms, and repeats to keep your drum fills more interesting. So I have one of my productions that I've done back in 2018 for a band called V2A right here. It's called Fire and Blood from the album Gravity Killer. And I was in a position where I needed to find some kind of drum fill to go from this particular section into the next one. Just have a listen. Right, this fill. It's kind of nice, but um, also fairly standard. And I wanted to have a couple more drum fills here and there in the first place. So I thought about, um, you know, how do I get some unpredictability into this drum fill? And knowing myself, always being a little bit pattern based, I thought I'm probably very predictable. So maybe Studio One can help me to get a bit more surprising every now and then. So that's what I did. Basically, I was just moving this event right here from the upper drums to this empty drum track, which is pretty much the exact same kit, just on a separate track, because I like to keep my uh, fills on a separate track. You don't have to do that. That's just something that I prefer doing. So yeah, what I would normally do is just go in, you know, and uh, try editing the MIDI here and there a little bit, you know, maybe uh, take one of these away and add one here. But first of all, I would have to do that for literally every drum fill in the song. And second of all, I also want Studio One to help me come up with a couple of ideas I might not have necessarily thought of. So the best way to go about it, in my opinion, is to just right-click this classic uh, drum part and turn it into a pattern. So this is something that we can do since Studio One 4.6. And at first, it sounds very similar to what we got before. But now we're in the realm of pattern, and I also have a couple of other tutorials covering the pattern mode extensively. You're gonna link some in the video description. But for now, everything you have to know is that this works the exact same way, except I have a couple of extra tabs right here. See, I have like a repeat tab, a delay tab, and a probability tab. And this one is particularly interesting because if I hold down shift, and set all these snare drums to a 50% probability, this will already give me a different fill every time I hit play. Have a listen. Once again. And you never know what quite happens, right? So if I would duplicate that a couple times, just hitting D key, and then bake this randomness back into a classic drum part by simply hitting G, I now have this randomness printed, but with a different result every time. See right here, I just got one single drum note back. Here it's like five, here it's four. So you never quite know what happens. And the more things you add to this fill, the more exciting it gets. And you can really build an entire drum fill library like that in just a couple of seconds. So without any uh, preparation or anything like that, let's just go into this part once more and just add a couple of random uh, steps here and there. Maybe a couple of kicks here. Uh, the double kick I want to have at 100% probability, maybe 50% for the ones that go before that. So let's do it like this. Let's add an accent on these two. This essentially means that those are going to be played with a 30% higher velocity. So 90 instead of 60 in my case. And other than that, let's just, let's just click somewhere. And uh, let's do that until it sounds cool. <laughs> so let's try it out. Cool. Yeah, there's already a couple of fun ones. Let me just add a couple more. And once again, just, just change the probabilities here and there. Don't even have to plan this out too much. So this gives you a ton of variety, so let's try this. And then I'll just add a couple of variations like this and then bake the randomness in with the G key. That's all you do, just duplicate with D and then the G key. And you see, I end up with all these wonderfully different pattern and drum fills, now parts again, that I can just uh, move wherever I need them, right? So. Let's 
So I think that's an incredibly cool way to work with these. Try it out for yourself. I think you're going to find it incredibly fun.